Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Physique Terra Alpaca X5 and Alpaca Tool Carrier. As a part of Physique's Terra All-Terrain Saddle Series, the Alpaca Saddle has been optimized for support and rider control. This is the combo version of the Alpaca X5 saddle with an integrated Alpaca Tool Carrier, which tucks right underneath it. Packaging-wise, you have a nice black cardboard box with Physique logo right on top. Basic specs and warnings on the side, and then the slide out design. So we'll go ahead and open this up and go over the specs. So retail price on this is $129.99. You can buy the Alpaca X5 saddle without the tool carrier for $109.99. This is designed for mountain bike or drop use. So if you have a dropper, this will provide you support, whether it's up or down. It has the Alpaca tool carrier which is a really cool design. It's an integrated solution that bolts on. It's removable and has dual CO2 holders, as well as a integrated, included 12 feature mini tool. It also has a 145 millimeter width for nice support and the Mobius rail design, which is this nice wrap around rail design that really hugs the saddle base and provides strength and weight distribution. You also have an S alloy rail here which gives you good affordability and strength. As you can see, the tool carrier is actually pre-installed. You have the dual CO2 holders right on it. A nice simple design with this almost flat texture. And you have the basic specs printed on that cardboard. So you can see each of these are removable. And then you have the tool carrier with the multi-tool pre-installed. So if I open this up, you can see the multi-tool really compact and included. Now let's take a look at the weight of the saddle. We have the multi-tool inside it already and no CO2. That comes in at 372 grams. Physique's Terra Alpaca is a well-named saddle as it's highly supportive and offers integrated tool solution for carrying gear. With this combo design, not only do you have a comfortable mountain bike ready saddle, but you also have a multi-tool and spots for two 16 ounce CO2 canisters. The saddle has a nearly flat profile, which is designed to be used whether the dropper is up or down, so it can support a wide range of positions and provides a lot of comfort on the road. Physique has incorporated co-injected elastic wing panels, so you can see the edges over here actually have quite a bit of flex to them, and that's designed to really flex if you go down a bump or single track without damaging the saddle and giving you more support. The saddle also has their Mobius rail design, so you can see the Two rails come down and then they loop around. Same thing on the back. So it's a really clean design and you can see it hugs the saddle base. So it reduces the weight and provides better stiffness. The saddle itself only comes in this 145 millimeter width with this little center relief channel built in. You have this contrasting fabric material on the rear, which actually looks pretty cool. And then basic physique branding, which is this glossy logo on the side and then the alpaca along the nose on each side. So pretty attractive design. It only comes in this one black color, and then you can see the base almost has this tan finish with the base coming around the saddle with a cover coming around the base and glued on. It's a pretty clean line too, so you can just scrub this down after a ride and keep everything clean. The coolest part about the saddle though is the alpaca tool carrier. So you can see they actually designed the saddle specifically for this tool carrier. So it sits there flush right against the base. You have a bolt, so you can actually remove everything if desired. But with it on, you can really carry everything in a nice integrated manner. Let's look at the tool first. So there's a multi-tool included. You just slide it out of the custom holder. You can see very compact, 12 function multi-tool. You have hex bits, screwdriver bits, Torx bits, as well as an inflator head. So you can see as far as the hex, you have two, 2.5, three, four, five, six, and then eight. So eight is really useful, especially if you wanna do a through axle removal. You have a flat head and a normal screwdriver, a Phillips head. And then you have two Torx bits, a T25 and a T10. You can see you have five items on one side and then six on the other. You also have the inflator head, which is really nice. So it's built directly in here. You just thread on a 16 ounce CO2 canister, and then push this down. As a multi-tool, you can see it's very compact. 
you don't have much leverage here. So if you have a really hard job, you probably want to use a different tool. But for roadside repairs, you can see it's nice and compact and you have almost everything you'd really need. Now with this removed, you can actually see how the CO2 holders are attached. There's little tabs here. So now you can just push down and then pull these out. So if you don't want to use two of these, you can take them off. These are just simple plastic construction with a little threaded end to hold it in place. Now with this off, you can really see the rail design. So it comes down and then tucks up really quickly. You don't have this big flat section. They've really tucked it underneath the tool itself. And then you have this nice elastic cover for the multi-tool to keep it clean and secure. Again, there's a bolt here, so you can actually undo that bolt and then remove this entire thing if you don't want to use it. Now let's take a look at the saddle installed on our Decathlon Tribin RC520. As you can see, it's a pretty attractive saddle. It's all black with a little bit of fabric finish along the rear. The CO2 connection is really nice too, so you can see they just thread on. So it actually uses the thread at the end of the CO2 canister to twist on to the actual plastic holder. So pretty clever, and it means it's very secure. You don't have any rubber straps or anything else. The multi-tool on the other hand just uses the rubber strap. And you can see it has a nice friction fit as well, so it stays in place. And they've done a good job keeping the size small while still being usable. Here you can see a closer look as you thread on the CO2, so I'll actually peek out at the end. And again, just it's a clever way to do it, so you have your CO2 right there and you don't have to worry about it falling off. Overall, the saddle is pretty comfortable. It's nice and flat, so it's very easy to get in and out of the saddle. So if you're doing a lot of mountain biking or hill climbing, you can easily adjust your position. We do wish there's a wider variation as we do prefer wider saddles, but otherwise it is comfortable. And with the tool carrier, you get a lot of functionality with it. So if you don't want to have a saddle bag, this is a great setup. You can't really fit in traditional saddle bag because it's hard to get the straps through the rails. But if you want to carry just the necessary CO2 and multi-tool, it's a really nice way to do it. And especially if you have a dropper post, you're not going to use a traditional saddle bag anyways. So overall, nice saddle, definitely worth giving it a try and a nice way to carry extra gear. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Alpaca saddle. What we like about it is you have an all-in-one design, so you have a nice comfortable saddle, as well as the tool carrier directly attached to it. You also have the clever thread-on CO2 holder, so it's very secure, and it simply twists right on and twists right off the little plastic holders. You also have a compact and versatile multi-tool. It's very small, but they packed a lot of features in there, and it's still easy to access with the inflator head built in. The main negatives with the saddle is the fact they have no wide width. It's only available in the standard 145 width. And also the tool carrier can block saddlebags. So it's very difficult to get straps around it. So you're going to have to use a different style saddlebag if you want to use that in conjunction with the saddle. Taking everything into account, we give the Alpaca X5 a 9.0 out of 10. It's a comfortable and flexible saddle. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thespeedcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thespeedcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.